What's going on everybody and welcome to the full game walkthrough series episode 156. Today we have to go use the obsidian knife uh, for Zen Zen, right? Hopefully that name is right and hopefully everybody's enjoying their week so far. Um, I've just been getting adjusted with school, uh, regaining my face and all of that jazz. Um, I'm doing good though. Hopefully everybody else is doing even better. It is Zen Zen. Okay, let's use the knife. Plus, save Zen Zen based boo boo. Oh, that easy. Zen Zen, can I please speak to you? Plus, thank you. Chew on these cacao beans Excuse while me? you draw the oh. poison out? I hope Popolvo knows what he's talking about. Wow, I feel better already. He's a magician, I swear. You were there when King Neza sacrificed himself to destroy the Shadow Queen? Do you think she's really gone? No, she is not gone. I wish she was, though. I don't know either, but we cannot let King Neza's death be for naught. I'm sure the Umbra Legion still searches for Mother Moon. <laughs> I just realized how like <laughs> it's like after you eat a lemon, you just your face is like, what is life? I don't know if we can really, them there, but we'll try. First, can you distract some Shadow Weaver prowlers? Uh, I guess. Um, I guess we'll defeat those three real quick. Um, talk about a few things as well. Get things back on track. Uh, at least we only have to defeat them. And not collect anything more, because that is the true struggle. Um, so anyway, I guess uh, we'll take this time to uh, talk a little bit about, um, I guess, the classes I'm taking this semester. It is a little, I mean, it's a, it's probably one of the most intense semesters that I've had in college so far. Because now I'm getting into, uh, <clears throat> for my... For major specific stuff, so different classes that are required for uh, major. Um, whether, because I don't really know, know what exact major I'm going for. Um, I used to. So let me give you the story. <laughs> this is like story time with Blue. Just, uh, just story time. Imagine the SpongeBob and the Rainbow like story time. That's what I think of because I remember he's like. Like the Friends episode. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about. Moons ago. Anyway, so freshman year of college, right? So I'm somewhat interested, but don't really realize. Uh, and this word may be like, Blue, what are you talking about? You know, you're speaking something funny. Uh, bioinformatics. So I was interested in this field. Uh, it's at the technology area of the college, and essentially, it's a no-go. Uh, I never actually declared bioinformatics. I've had interests. I've always had. I've always tried to keep my uh, mind open to a lot of possibilities. Um, so you know, I took a class and other things, and I joined this club. This was last year and whatnot. You know, thinking that I was going to go into that. Uh, turns out, no, I am not interested in, in it at all. Um, you can look up what it is. For me to describe it in like a few sentences, I'd probably go crazy. Um, so that's not for me, right? Uh, so I guess somewhat fast forward to... Oh yeah, we need to hit. We have triple blade bubble. All right, continuing the story. So essentially we fast forward to... And I knew it wasn't for me my second semester my freshman year. I just, I'm just like, you know what? You know, I have the class and I'm like, should I commit to this? And if you do go to it, then you have to take at least three, uh, you have to devote three of your summers to taking classes just to graduate on time in four years for the degree. And it was like all this weird stuff, right? So that's out of the question. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to hear more about school, but honestly, it's not that bad. Okay, uh, <laughs> so we're, we're moving forward to that. Um, I killed them. Uh, let me just get another battle. Let me get some health first. 
probably the last thing you want to hear about is school struggles, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so we fast forward to this past fall semester, um, where I, uh, I somewhat, I mean, I know that I want to go into, and I've always had the, in the back of my mind, uh, just this feeling ever since high school, uh, biology and chemistry and physics, specifically biology has stuck out for me. Um, so just in general, that's why in bioinformatics involves computers and other things and whatnot. But to this fall, um, I was just like opening, you know, just trying to figure out, uh, because I'm going to declare, uh, this semester pretty soon. I mean, probably in a month or two, um, Debating on a couple of paths now After I've gotten all my general education requirements done because that's college Everybody you have basically you can devote two years essentially for gen eds that Are like you have to take them like uh, speech comp composition um, and Other get them goods humanities social science, you know all that jazz so that's a thing um and then so now I've narrowed it down and it's and right now I'm taking this semester uh, chemistry um, not organic but just chemistry so I actually have probably I actually have to take uh, organic starting the next if if I do go down any path any path that you go down which has medical or anything you're gonna have to have chemistry physics and biology y y you have to right and math um, so, right now I'm taking chemistry, uh, non-organic, and then biology of microorganisms, which the class, I have to say out of everything right now, that class is standing out to me to being one of the best I'm going to have, because I'm, I'm really interested in that stuff now. So then that leads me down to a, uh, a path where it, uh, for, the, here's... I fizzled. I have a 2% chance to fizzle. Sorry, I'm just like rambling today. Moving on. Um, there's three paths. Now, one path has somewhat to do with it, but then it's kind of off topic. But something that's been in my mind, uh, which is, which is different compared to anything I've talked about, which is, uh, it, it's either pre-med, okay, pre-med, um, which if I do, I'll be done in a year, year and a half. So that's great. Uh, or I get a degree in either biology and or, um, I forgot the name of it, but it's like, oh, we killed him. Uh, immunology and other, th and those things of the sort that then you get the degree while being in pre-med. Um, and then some other stuff. So let's talk to Zen Zen and then I'll wrap up my story. Well done. I take no pleasure in their suffering, but I am thrilled by your victories. The Shadow Queen charmed many of my brethren with her magic mirrors. To free the splinter wings, we need to smash them. The mirrors, I mean. But for that, you'll have to battle some Tewano spirits to collect the teeth of the wind. Once you have the Four. teeth, use them to smash the magic mirrors. So let me finish up my uh, story of my life right now. So, <laughs> so we got that going. Um, it's it's either going to be that path, or it's going to be a path into where I don't go to medical school, but I get a degree and then go for my master's. Uh, to then, I don't know. It's a lot of things, team. Um, and sorry to bore all of you, but just some random things. There's like a lot of things in my mind, but uh, I, I keep looking into things. I keep, you know, uh, I have to take the classes I'm taking and, you know, oh yeah, I forgot. So I'm taking microorganisms, which is a class and then a lab. The chemistry, which is a class and then a lab. And then <laughs> the labs for those are like three hours or some. And then, uh, psychology, which then is part of mine and then has its own little lab thing. So, yeah, it's 15 credits. So, I mean, I'm going uh, full-time juicing. Um, it's a little update what's going on with me. So I'm going to defeat these spirits real quick, 
And afterwards, we're gonna throw the school stuff out of mind. Whiz. <laughs> into mind. I'll see you all after I collect the four. Wish me luck. Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We finally collected them. Honestly, I know I say this a lot, but that quest, um, yeah, that was moons. That was crazy. The drop rate, oh, like Zen Zen says, Mother Moon be with you. So let's go talk to the magic mirror, see what we have to do next. Oh, oh wow, that was, <laughs> that was a bit loud. Um, oh, we gotta use another one. So yeah, so we'll have to see, team. Um, I know I always have wanted to help people in the healthcare business, which other way or anyway, you know, but the thing I've learned is that no matter, in any job, any job you can think of, you help people. Uh, and I think people lose sight of that. I mean, every job is important regardless of anything. Um, and so yeah, I'll just have to see. Um, and hopefully, you know, it all goes well. Let's break the last mirror. There's another one. How many magic mirrors on the wall? Magic mirror on the wall is blue the prettiest of them all. No. <laughs> what? No. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh gosh. What, 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 what uh, Disney movie was that? It wasn't Cinderella. I know that. I, I know that's a terrible thing to say. The magic mirror on the wall. I know there's a corrupt witch in there. Something's going on. Zen Zen. Don't hate me for it. I, I don't know the name. Terrific work. It will take time for the sinister magic to wear off, but the splinter wings will come to their senses. We had to defeat so many. With the Whoa. forces of shadow distracted, it's time to make our move. We have to try to reach the pyramid of Mother Moon before then. You need to calm down, Zen Zen. Because you are not of royal blood, you will need to purify yourself before you can enter the pyramid of es Mother Moon. Essentially cleansing. The place to do that is called the House of Flowers. Oh, yeah. A sacred spot to oh. one of the living spirits of the world. The House of Flowers is guarded by yep. the head of Hungry Knight. The stone head next to the head of the sun. Oh, you've met already? I had to gather his horns, which was a struggle. Thank you very much. Well... Tell the head of Hungry Knight, Yankashtik Tumben Chunuch. It means we seek a new beginning. Alrighty. With teeth. It's funny. Alright, well, let's go talk to this head of Hungry Knight, huh? Defeat this cat who's in the House of Flowers. Cleanse ourselves. Then we'll enter the, well, either today or tomorrow, enter the Pyramid of Mother Moon. I, I don't even know. A lot of prelude stuff. I mean, this pyramid trying to remember where the heck that is head of the hungry knight what what's up the peculiar creature returns why do you pester me warm blood oh you wish to pass to the house of flowers no keep your secret phrase to yourself i will not help you wow why not because my teeth ache. Really? Rather, my mouth aches because those blasted splinter wings stole my jade teeth. You should find out if he really knows the secret phrase, or if he is just bluffing. You see, he really just wants you to find his lost teeth. After that, if you don't know the phrase, he won't help you. You keep out of this. You got your horns back already. So, warm blood. Will you get my jade teeth back from the splinter wings? Uh... Good. When you return, I'll see if you know the secret phrase. See, I'm telling you, team. They're killing me. These collect quests, they're gonna be the death of me. Alright, so... Gonna go defeat these splinter wing people. I'm pretty sure they're ice balance. I can't remember. I think the last time we actually had to defeat them was in the beginning of the actual forest before we even went to Alta Alto, let alone even starting our journey and we have to cleanse ourselves. What school are they? Ice. Okay, so I'm gonna hurry up and defeat these people. Collect four. Hopefully, it's easier than the Tijuana spirits or whatever those people were called. Wish me luck. I'll see you after.
Alrighty, so we collected the jade teeth. Let's talk to the head of Hungry Knight. Ha! My teeth! Those feel great. Put your hand in and see if they feel secure. I'd rather not. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> okay, tell me the secret phrase. You don't remember it, do you? Am I going to have to roll over there and eat you up? As soon as he lets you get a word in edgewise, you firmly recite the phrase Zen Zen taught you. Yan Kashtik Tumben Chunuha. You hope that was right. <laughs> well done, youngling. <sighs> you may cross the blooming bridge to the House of Flowers. It is a sacred place that embodies the land. But I warn you, you won't like what you find. Talk to Lady Zen Zen before you go inside. Okay. Zen Zen. Do you sense it? Something is wrong here. The living spirit Excuse who dwells me. in the house of flowers is called Yashche. You need a blessing from Yashche to purify you. And you'll need his permission to take a starfall lily. Whatever corruption lies within, you'll simply have to deal with it. Okay. Although the exterior is resplendent in color and form, there's something off about the place. There it is again. A whiff of corruption and blight underneath the perfume. Something rotten. Interesting, interesting indeed. A little bit nervous, I'll be honest. I think we'll be okay, though. I hope. What was that sound? Okay, and he's myth. You know, there's a couple of things in Wiz that really get me. It's when bosses are myth, so... Slight struggle. Pass. Uh, you know... I think we're okay, though. I hope we are. Okay, so, I need, uh, some pierces, a couple of those. Am I just going past them? There they are. Alrighty, I think we're okay. Use a potion, please. Mana Bleeder, why do you intrude on this sacred place? Storm Wrecker, Fire Quencher, Ice Breaker. Whatever you wish from here, it is too late. The shadow has passed through here and left her mark. Welcome to the Blight. Prepare for a long, long stay. Well, there you are. Let's tango! Wow. That is a lot. Okay. Well, should we start things off spicy? I did not mean to use that. <laughs> I did not mean to use that team. And he uses Celestial Calendar. We'll be able to rebound. I did not mean to use that. I just did not even, like, pass my mind that I already enchanted it. Oh my gosh. That was a pretty good attack. Well, hopefully, I, we'll, we'll recover. I mean, it's, it's a waste of pips, but... I mean, it is what it is, I'll be honest. I... <laughs> There's no words! There is no words. Midnight plus... I can't even see how much damage I did to him. Wow. That's embarrassing. Well, I mean, now... I mean, with that... I mean... <laughs> we just... I mean, essentially... Essentially... We just need... Um... Another Humongo Frog. I mean, in in reality, because if it does 1300 with the bubble or the reliquary, well, then I'll kill it because of the damage. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't even know. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Well, we're keeping this with Shuffle because we're not frisky. Uh, 
I mean, in all, uh, uh, we'll faint. Yeah, I mean, nothing else to do. We need to find a prism. A little bit spicy, I'll be honest, but maybe too spicy. Oh, now we have the minus 25. Thank you for the block. Bum, bum, bum. I didn't realize there was, like, thinking back, and I, I know things are still fuzzy, but from a long time ago, uh, the amount of stuff you have to do before you even get to uh, go to the floating islands. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. Alright. Well, um... Spirit Blade, I mean, we need to find a prism. Somewhere we have four of them in there, so. But I'm keeping the reshuffle. We're rebounding from our mistake. Slowly but surely. Okay, we found that. Removed that. Um, keeping this because in time, we'll use the prism. Um, and I'm not getting too frisky with blades because, well, and then Basilisk, well, now we're have to wait around. But Earthquake, that's always a possibility. You always have to factor that into it. You never know when he's going to use it. Or any myth boss, for that matter. I mean, now we're stunned, but at least we have a stun block. In case he uses this again and or Medusa. Medusa would be the worst. We didn't have the block already. It's a pretty good uh, combo. The hit and then with the trap. Okay, we finally found this. Oh, there we are. Infection? What a pro! You don't have that high block to be critting on you for moons. Wow. Midnight Plus. I even have the infection on. That's uh, a little bit risky business. I have one blade. Um, is it enough? What with the minus 25? It has to be, right? Night Boo? Yeah, it has to be. It's not going to be the best hit, but it has to be done. We need to start healing, recuperating, and then we'll focus on the boss. The statues are creepy. A little bit wobbly of a boss battle today. Some go better than others. To be expected. What? It did the lower end of the Humongo Frog. Oh, I'm salty. That, that is, that's some salty business team. That is the definition of salt. I mean, that, oh my goodness. Midnight, you're gonna have to start kicking into high gear. Something's going on. Where, where's the pet? Plus. Oh my goodness. It, I mean... I, I possibly... That one mistake might have cost me the battle. That one little mistake, team. That one little mistake. We didn't die last time, that one struggle. But, uh... We have to heal. And this is gonna be a terrible heal. All depends on what they use. I could be dead. I could be dead. You gonna do damage? Nope. It's possible, team! I'm a little bit spooked! Things are getting close. So now I have to keep that in mind. If I make one little mistake like that, which literally in the entire walk probably ever happened like three times ever, or two times, maybe even more, but I don't know. That's, that's pretty small percentages. Uh, removing that, removing that. We need to find another Humongo. I mean, we have another one. I mean, based Ivan, we find it, but by that time, and by the time Midnight heals, 
Oh, we'll be with us. Somebody's gotta be with us. In our time of struggle. I guess that's what keeps things spicy in life. Oh my goodness me. We found it, team. Let's use it. And then hopefully find a satyr. Get the uh, the best draw of the day. Don't you fizzle. Just... Okay, get out of here, balanced person. I swear, based woo, if I fizz. All right, 2% chance. It may not seem like a... I mean, that is such a small, small percentage. But team, it happens. If you know it, it'd be my luck. It would be my luck. Oh my gosh. Well, we rolled with the low frog to not do the 1500. I mean, it's like a toss-up gamble. It's like, uh... All right, Seder. He ult me plus. Based woo. Infuse the life. Thank you. Alright, we got this. I think. We're doing well. We're doing very good. Alright, I gotta calm down. Breathe, blue. Breathe. Woo! Alright, we're okay. Um, here's a lot of pips. I mean, he's antsy. Might as well add to the feints. Why not? For fun. Probably should have shielded, but... Let's be honest. We're playing risky, trisky for the biscuit. Sorry, that, is that right? Risking it for the biscuit? Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. The nose always knows, team. Never forget. 2K13? 14? Oh, the nose never forgets. Okay, well, we're shielding. Um. For a couple reasons. One, if we don't, we're going to take a lot of damage. Probably 600 plus on any attack. Uh, and then we'll faint again. The probabilities of that. So, removing that. Fainting regular. Um, presumably, we might have to reshovel for another heal. But I'm banking on the fact that Midnight's going to kick it into high gear in a few rounds, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it, it's possible. But, is it likely? I I don't know. Um, we're just going to stack shields for moons. Uh, days, years, every round. I cannot risk it. Even though we have a lot of health, keep in mind, by the time we actually get a chance to... I mean, look at all those. I mean, this might even... This is still going to do mass. I mean... <laughs> rest in peace. 300! That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing, my friend. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. It's okay, though. You're doing well. Alright, prism. Okay, good. So we got the prism off. Um, 19,000 health, double faint, triple blade, GG. He crit? Whoa. That's the fourth crit that's gone through with 200 plus crit block. I mean, a toss-up. I, I mean, essentially, it's a toss-up. Perfect draw. Look at these draws. Uh, rather query. And we always keep that reshuffle. If you get it early on hand, you just have to make do. Very important. I mean, you can put in more reshuffles, but then it just becomes a cluster, and, you know, that's just a problem all in itself. All right, we'll blade, and then we'll try and find the plus 40... Um, and I'll, honestly, I think it should be GG with the bubble, uh, reliquary, double blade, double faint with boost. And by the time, I mean, we're low on health as it is. We can't, you know, give him more and more rounds to, uh, build up. Um, especially if you give him three more rounds, there's just, there's just no way. Uh, bad draw. Bad draw once again. Finally got it. We're coming down to the wire here. I mean, we, we only have a couple more spells. So, if, I, if, I, if this Medusa isn't killed next round, we're in some deep doo-doo. Alright, we, I mean, we are struggling. But, I think we got this. We're good. Alright. GG. Base diving! What a recovery. I mean, I'm speaking a little bit too soon because I don't know if I kill or not, but... Woo! Come on, now. Night. 
he has legitimately le the salt is real. He has legitimately like two Team. Team. I, uh... I'm just gonna wait for Andrew. Um... Can he port? <laughs> oh, gosh! I'm a little bit... Salty. Alright, we can hit next team. Can we pull can we pull off the miracle again? Oh my gosh. Literally, if we can pull off the miracle, I mean <laughs> there has to be a confirmed entity presence every time we juice an Aztec. I mean, I'm talking look, down to the wire, uh, draws. I mean, I just call in for help in case the worst happens. And this is, I mean, team. I, I called for help just in case the worst happened. I reshuffled, thought I was dead. Thought I dead. Look at that English. Oh, I just need. <laughs> what an intense up! The fizz! No! And the clutchy, I'm, I'm weak! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, I'm, I, I literally, I can't do it. And the 2% fizz. I mean, that is, today has been a day, I'm telling ya. I mean, <sighs> GG, I mean, wow. I, it just, <laughs> yep, it's one of those, huh? It is one you of those. You have broken the shadow and cured my sickness and blight. Oh, Thank wow. you, magician. I owe you much. You need to purify yourself to find the Pyramid of Mother Moon? Ah, of course. There you are. <gasps> you can safely enter the Pyramid without disturbing the spirits resting inside. Finding the Pyramid will be a harder task. You need a Starfall Lily to open the way. Take one. I will wait outside the House of Flowers. Let's get this Lily on, team. Ah. <sighs> Alright, we got one. Well, I mean, let's be honest. If I didn't call for help, I probably would have died. That's just the way it is. But two clutches in these past few eps, I'm telling you. Something. Something's going on. Alrighty. So, that'll do it for me today. Next time, we'll talk to Yo-Yo. Uh, um, leave a like if you've enjoyed. It's always appreciated. Uh, take care, everybody. Um, I'll see you all later, and, uh, oh, oh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, team.